Hey everyone, it's SG Holy Man, and welcome to another edition of What I've Been Doing, this time for June 2019. For those of you who don't know, my What I've Been Doing series is a monthly series where I talk about the games I've played and the general stuff I did for the previous month. So, in May, I actually played a lot more games than I thought I would. I also did watch a few shows as well. But with that intro out of the way, I will now get into what I've been playing. As far as what I've been playing, I have been continuing to play Sekiro on Twitch, and I've been really enjoying it, and I think it's one of the best games of this year. Uh, and if everything goes right, I should be done with the game uh, this week. Uh, hopefully Thursday, if I time it out correctly, depends on how much I get done tonight, to be honest. But yeah, I'm debating on doing one of the optional bosses. That will really determine how far I get, if I finish it this week or not. And I might just skip it, to be honest with you. It's an optional boss, but it is kind of an important optional boss. I don't know. It's weird. I'm still debating on it. So we'll see what happens with that. Um, I have been continuing to play Days Gone, and I'm enjoying it. Um, it's not the best, but it's something to play. And yeah, the story is kind of interesting. Like it's starting to pick up a little bit, but... I don't know, I still got a lot of issues with it. But overall, I mean, I enjoy it. I just like putting it on and playing. Um, also been playing some Mortal Kombat 11, of course. It's still a lot of fun. Uh, I haven't gone online yet. I really need to. But just been learning Cassie, trying to get her combos down. And then after that, it's just going online to see how I can fare trying to get that neutral down and stuff. Um, might also pick up a second character, depending on how it goes. I don't know. Uh, I do have problems with Mortal Kombat 11, but overall, it's a great time. Um, I also played Just Shapes and Beats. Uh, this is one that I have been waiting to get on the PS4 for a while now, and I really, really enjoyed it. Um, if you haven't played it before, it is kind of a shoot 'em up but you don't actually shoot anything. You just, um, listen to some funky beats and then just avoid the obstacles. Um, and it's just really, really good. I highly recommend picking it up and supporting the developers because they made a great game. Uh, there is two versions. There's like a $20 version and a $25 version. So keep that in mind, but I highly recommend it. There's also a lot of stuff after the single player is done, like challenge modes and there's multiplayer and stuff. So I would... Like I said, I highly recommend you go check that out. Um, for my review for last month, I reviewed Observation. I'm not going to say too much because I want you to go watch that video. However, I will say that is easily one of the best games I've played this year so far. So, as I said, you know, plug, plug, go check out that uh, review I put out. Um, as far as other games I've played, I played a little bit of Rage 2. I played about 10 hours and I kind of want to go back and play, but I kind of don't. It's easily one of the most fun games I've played this year and also one of the most boring games I've played this year. It's kind of interesting how that works, but I don't know. I probably will at some point, but I think there's just some other things I want to play first. So we'll see. I got back into Unist for a little bit, and that game's a lot of fun. I don't know how much more I'll play, though, because it's kind of just like the whole getting into a fighting game late you know, it's just kind of hard to do, and I'm into MK11, so I don't know. We'll see. And then I heard there's rumors of a new one coming out, actually. So, if anything, I'll probably just wait for that one. I um, also picked up Dragon Ball Fighters for a little bit. Uh, need to get back to the online grind, but I don't know, just a lot of other things. Maybe I'll do that over the summer. Maybe I'll get back into it, um, but we'll see. And then finally, as you can see, last night I picked up Destiny 2 again for the first time in two months. And it's a lot of fun going back. The new season, I, I enjoy it so far. I like most of the stuff that they've introduced, except for Eververse. That's not great. I like it took f some steps forward, but some se steps back. Yeah. So, I don't know. Uh, that's a whole can of worms that I maybe I'll pick up later. Uh, we'll see. But anyway, that's pretty much all I've been playing, so now I'll get into what I've been watching.
So, in terms of what I've been watching, uh, this one's a little bit of an oddball, but I did watch Combo Breaker 2019 this year, and it was really good. Um, I did watch a little bit of pools. I was mainly jumping around uh, Friday and Saturday. Uh, I did watch the Samurai Showdown auction. That was pretty fun. I am getting that game, by the way. Um, and then, as I said, I hopped around pools. I watched a little bit of the Dragon Ball pools, of course. I watched the Unist pools for a little bit. Um, a little bit of Tekken. Um, and then the MK pools. But it was mainly between Dragon Ball Fighters and Mortal Kombat. Um, and then, of course, I watched... I didn't get to watch Unist Top 8. I was at work. But I did watch the Dragon Ball Fighters pool. And that was really good. Congratulations to Goichi. Um, and everyone else who made top eight. And then I caught the grand finals of Tekken 7, and that was really, really good. Uh, as I keep saying, Tekken's, Tekken 7's a game I need to, like, if I had more time, I could probably get into it. But it's Tekken 7's always a fun game to watch. Like, the grand finals, even, like, most top eights, they're really, really good. And then, of course, I watched the Mortal Kombat Top 8. I was really hoping Sonic Fox would pull it out, but congratulations to Scar anyway. Um, and then, in terms of what other shows I've been watching, uh, of course, I've been watching Fruits Baskets. Really good. Really, really good. Highly recommend it. Even if you're not into shoujo romances, I recommend this one, because I'm usually not either, but this one's really good. And then, uh, Kimetsu no Yaiba, or Demon Slayer. Um... I stuck with it. I'm gonna be honest, the first episode was good, not great. Um, really, the first two, and it was really just the art style that pulls you in. But it's actually gotten to the point where it's pretty good. Like, not gonna lie, it's like really, really good. So, it's definitely one of my favorites. And I believe both of those are gonna hold over into next season, which next season's shaping up to be really good. So, um,. Or the summer anime season, sorry. Sorry, I got distracted by a train. But, yeah, that's pretty much all I've been watching. Um, like I said, I watched some things, but didn't really watch a whole lot. So, with all that being said, I'll now get into what I'm looking forward to. In terms of what I'm looking forward to, the first thing I want to point out is Bloodstained Ritual of the Night comes out on the 18th, and I cannot be more excited. Full disclosure, I am a $100 Kickstarter backer on this game, so I am not going to be reviewing it. I may play through it. I'm still debating on it, but um, yeah, that is coming out, and it looks really, really good. And I just can't wait for my collector's edition to come. And also my name will be in the credits. So if you do play it, be sure to keep a lookout for that. Um, uh, another game I'm looking forward to, as I said before, is Samurai Showdown. And I think it's going to be a game for me. It's not very combo heavy, which if you watch me play any fighting games, I don't really go for combos anyway. Uh, this one's more based on... Uh, grounded neutral and footsies and stuff so it might be the game for me so i'm just excited to play it and there's just it looks really good and there's just a lot of stuff in it that i really like so i'm just super excited to play it and also the whole thing about the season pass how if you buy it before the 30th you get the season pass for free that's really really good so if you haven't checked it out yet i would recommend checking it out um, of course, I'm looking forward to watching more Fruits Baskets and Demon Slayer or Kimetsu no Yaiba. And also, I've been meaning to do this for the last month, but since this anime season is, quite frankly, not that good, uh, I've been meaning to go back and watch some old anime, uh, because I am a newer fan, so I just kind of want to go back and watch some of the older stuff, and... Some of you may, may be surprised, but I have not seen Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Um, I did start watching the original series. I think, I don't remember where I stopped. I'm going to be completely honest with you. Um, 
Yeah, I don't remember. But um, I really like the original one. But as soon as I heard that, like, oh, it differentiates from the manga, I just kind of stopped watching. And then I also think something else came out that I wanted to watch. So, um, yeah, maybe sometime this month I'm going to start watching Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. I think it's only, like, what, 63 episodes anyway, so it shouldn't be too long. Um, and, yeah. Oh, crap. I've forgotten what I've been watching. I watched One Piece. Sorry, guys. I failed. Anyway, with all of that being said, I think it's time to end the video. So, um, if you guys liked what you've seen, you can go ahead and like this video, share it with your friends, subscribe to my channel for more game reviews and a podcast, hopefully, and all that good gaming stuff. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time.